Hey guys, it's Official Girl Mo Clark with the post up, keeping you posted and entertained, coming to you live from the Grind Pretty Festival. Super excited. We got a lot of dope people in the building, including the founder Mimi. She's here. Several entrepreneurs. I've heard that Yandy Smith is going to be in the building. I've heard that Crystal Renee is going to be in the building. So hopefully we'll get a chance to catch up with those ladies in a bit. So super excited. An event about educating women, influencers, empowering women. This is where you definitely want to be, guys. You know, if you want to network with some boss babes and get your weight up when it comes to your brand and your business, grind pretty, guys. Hey guys, it's up, it's your girl Mo Clark with the post up standing next to the most beautiful, most amazing, Miss Crystal Renee. How you doing, girl? Look, I've been watching you since you was like a reoccurring cast member. Wow. So to watch you have this spin off, all these amazing things, and I saw you singing the other night, girl. You ain't tell nobody that. What had happened? You know, what had happened? A lot of people didn't know that I sang. They thought I was fake singing in praises. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. I, I you were? No, that was me. I'm on the soundtrack and everything. Okay, so, so let me easy. ask you this. We got to talk about it. You yeah. started off as a stylist, right? But you are you you are so multi talented. Yeah. You do your makeup, you do the styling. So tell me a little bit about how it came for you to actually be on Sisters. Yeah. Oh wow. Um, actually, I moved to Atlanta in 2009 to see singing and, and moving and acting. Yeah, so that was really the journey. Sometimes life just takes you on different paths, and I ended up um, working at Tyler Perry Studios as a PA. Okay. The costume department. Worked my way up through there, and um, that's how I ended up meeting Tyler, become the costume designer, becoming his stylist. I did that for five years, did not audition for anything, just really focused on him for those years. Uh -huh. And when Sisters came about, I was going to produce it with him, still producer on the show, Ooh. and um, costume designing it. But as I was reading scripts, I was like, whoa, this is it. So all that work that I had put in all those years really just came to fruition in that moment. And he was like, I got something for you. So he created the team up. And y'all know the rest. <laughs> Listen, I thought we was gonna be beefing because my husband would be liking all your pictures, but I'd be like, that's a that's a bad chick though. You know, if y'all hadn't done the team, but that is like our show. Like for you guys to put that out, it's like you're you're tackling real life couples issues. And we appreciate that. Especially in the African American community. You know, I have something to bond with my husband on. I know that's right. But girl, we be when you bought the the sex toy for Zach. Listen. We didn't know what was gonna happen. Listen, there was like, a whole discussion in the house, right? No. Father and then so y'all went on pause. Yeah. You went on pause, and I was like, "So you want a side chick, baby?" Yeah. I didn't know you was gonna come back with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, that was so. Listen, Tyler Perry is genius for that. Everybody thought that I really the team was seeing a real side chick. Yeah. But no, we not doing that. But yeah, it was a whole. Well, whole I tell you what. Congratulations, you have embodied this role Thank you. and to see Madam Eva Marcel yes, playing your cousin listen I love that's, my that's a whole nother spinoff right there it is I'm telling you she's a beast I love it you're showing us that pretty girls can be thugs that's right. Oh, yeah, absolutely. We all got a little thug in it. But thank you so no, much sorry. for talking to me. <laughs> Tell everybody where they can follow you at. Yes, yeah, so you guys can find me on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, all things at love, L U V, Crystal Renee. And it's your girl Mo Clark with the post up, and we out.
to sponsor this uh, this event, Grind, Grind Pretty Fest. I had not met Mimi before this year, and I'm so grateful that one of our sewers introduced me to her. She is absolutely phenomenal. I meet with nonprofits. Oh gosh, I probably see nonprofits, 10 to 20 nonprofits a day that are looking to get on my calendar. And they're doing this because there's a great need here in the city of Atlanta. We have a lot of things going on. We have a lot of prosperity, but we have a lot of people who are not able to meet mm -hmm. and be able to do things like what you're experiencing. system like what Mimi is providing for all of us today and keep going until you two have that gold medal moment. I love you guys so much. Thank you Mimi. Thank you to the Iron Pretty team. DJ Tracy is killing it. And I love you guys. Thank you so much for having me. Proud of my sisters. I've always appreciated and understood the necessity of good sisterhood. Being a part of a show that displays real relationships between women is not only something that resonates with me. Offset, Crystal is your typical girl next door who loves all things beauty, fashion, and lifestyle. However, she's not afraid to turn the heat up in the kitchen as well. Currently a pescatarian, Crystal aims to eat healthy while keeping it fun. To help others do the same, she launched Cooking with Chris, where she produces how-to cooking videos to share her healthy twist on some of her. Well, thank you for speaking my name in a room that I was not in. Um, and sisters, we have to do that. We really do. Uh, do more of that, getting behind each other, championing each other. And ooh, I am full right now. Well.